we the people. The phrase, we the people, of the United States is far older than the preamble clause, and is not referring to the American citizens. In prehistoric America a people of the Moorish ancestry called Lenape are the people and Leni Lenape which translates to grandfather, the old ones, original people and we, the people. The Lenape are now called Delaware Indians, but they never called themselves this. All other so-called Native Americans referred to the Lenape, the Nappy head ones, as the very ancient ones with magic, Nanticoke. William Penn by his own account written in his own hand said, the natives shall consider in their person, with my sense of original. For their person, they are generally tall, straight, well-built, singular proportioned. They tread strong and clever, and mostly walk with lofty chin, of complexion, black, but by design, as the gypsies in England. William Penn's 1683 account of the Delaware Indians. Before we proceed further, you should also note that the word gypsy is a word of art term for Egyptian Moors, see Egyptian, Black's Law Dictionary, 4th ed., page 606. Ancient and Modern Britain, David McCritchie, Volume 2, pp 239 and 357. It is not so very long ago that the conventional gypsy was of almost black complexion. The followers of John the Fowl, in the old ballad, are spoken of as the black crew. And in 1861, the Indian of New England, or Moors as they were also styled by the settlers, were pronounced by William Penn to be as black as gypsies. This statement of Penn's may even mean that the British gypsies of 1861 were quite black. To say, then, that those Indians made themselves as black as gypsies may signify that the gypsies of 1861 were distinctly black and Moors. The larger proportion of the ancient nobility of the southern and central parts of Great Britain were slaughtered in the latter part of the 15th century. In the period in which the swarthy, Morris, Douglas, and Gordon of southern Scotland ceased to be formerly recognized as landowners and nobles. If in any of these cases the vanquished survivors of this Black A. Moor nobility, dot the tents and turf covered wigwam of the gypsies, that were peculiar to certain early British tribes, much in the same way as the vanquished dukes of North America have done. Note, the fact is, perhaps, scarcely worth noticing, but the aristocracy, royal nobility, of the earlier, inhabitants of North America described as, Indians and Moors, by the settlers are designated, emperors, kings and, dukes by the writers of the 16th and 17th centuries. The Leni Lenape, i.e. we the people are also known as the Wode, woodland culture, Anasazi and mound builders, however, their national name was Monokan, sometimes erroneously called Monacan, and mistakenly called Moroccan by the traditional Moorish Americans or Moorish nationals, not to be confused with our national and preamble Moorish citizens of the United States of America. The term Monokan meant one spiritual people or united people. The Monokan Empire of the United States was a union of three confederacies, I, Algonquian, II, Iroquoian and III, Siouan linguistic groups with 13 zones, the basis for the 13 original states, 16 national states and numerous tribal city units, small towns. The Moorish Monocan Empire domain was north into Canada, south to the Gulf of Mexico, east to the Atlantic Ocean and west to the Ohio Valley. And law and order was maintained by their supreme law of the land, i.e., the constitution of the five, five symbolized complete unity and not individual states, nations aka the great law of peace, greater than Islam, and originally called Guyanasha Goa. The Mano Khan, Mo Ro Khan Confiaderati was primarily, principally and predominantly Maros, complexioned and copper, coffee hues. The legendary founders of the great law of peace were Dekanawida, an angel of the Lord, and Hiawatha, the man who wrestled with the angel of the Lord, Jacob. The pine or white pine was the national symbol of the United People and this same pine symbol, transferred to the official flag of the United States of America centralized in the United States in Congress assembled and historically called the Continental Congress flag of 1775. The leaders of United Peoples of America was the Mohawk Kays, pronounced Mohawks, and now falsely written as Mohawks. The Lenape Moorish Monocan Empire strayed away from the great law of peace, warred amongst themselves, at the behest of their British denizens, reinstituted slavery of Caucasian people and adopted Christianity. By 1677 the Monocan Moors were forced into a treaty as, liege subjects, with Lord Charles II, which, by 1729-1774 the Monocan, corrupt, empire was all but finished. See, e.g., Virginia Colonial Records 1677 Treaty, 
between Virginia and the Indians. However, by July 4, 1776, the resurrected Monocan Moors pronounced to the world the authentic A Declaration by the representatives of the United States of America in General Congress assembled, not to be confused with the Denizen British Proprietors Declaration of Independence. For further information on free Moors, Moors people in pre Columbian America, see Strangers in Their Mist, S.N.R. McElroy and The Melungeons, Brent and Robin Kennedy. First Resurrection of the Moors of the United States and the Liberation of the Denizen British Proprietors. The latter 1700s to the mid 1800s saw the demise of the Aboriginal Moors of North America's Lenape Monocan Empire that set in motion the conditions, by the heavens rule, that would eventually lead to the establishment of the United States of America in the family of nations and the Republican form. Art. 4. Sec. 4. Constitution of the United States of America greater than CUSA, of nation-state governments. From the forced Virginia Treaty of 1677 to the 1772 Watagan or Washington Constitution of North Carolina in 1772, the Morris natives of North America lost self-autonomy to their British denizen Morris and mulatto kinsmen. However, before going any further, it should be clearly understood that the old corrupt and decaying Moorish Empire formerly controlled virtually the entire world. However, for our concern there are three major dominions vital to the people of the United States, i.e., 1. the Monocan, 2. the British, and 3. the Ottoman Empires. The Monocan Empire of the United States terminated officially in 1776-77 with the creation of the amalgamated, non-Caucasian leadership, United States of America that was, at that time, an insignificant world power. Also, at that time the British Empire of the United States was additionally controlled by Moors, Mulattoes, and Mamluks respectively, and neither America nor Europe had a white face. The modern-day white-faced Great Britain Empire actually started in 1914 at the end of World War I and the defeat or the breakup of the Ottoman Empire, however, the Tree of Osman Bey lives still by the heavens rule. The fourth or crossover, while crossing the Burning Sands, Empire, with the appearance of a white face is the American Empire with the P. Suedo, Great Seal of the United States, in the United Nations, by Heaven's Rule. Furthermore, there is, by H. A. K. H. C. E. G. Black's Law Dictionary, 46 ed. A fifth horse in the planet Earth has entered into this cycle. Also, keep in mind that the old Monocan Empire of the United States and the old British Empire of the United States were Moorish, Morris Empire of the Ottoman Empire, in the family of nations. And with the demise of the Osmanli Empire, the modem Great Britain Empire became number one until 1945-48 when the power shifted to the mirror image United States of America in the United Nations. There are more than one, one United States and each has its own, one, President, two, Congress and three, Justices, inter alia, in North America. United States, one. This term has several, greater than more than one, meanings. It may be merely, greater than word of art, complete or totally, the name of a sovereign, nation or state, occupying the position analogous, in a special or proper position, to that of other sovereigns in the family of nations. Black's Law Dictionary, 46 et. Family of nations, is an aggregate, completion, total or all, of states which is the result of their historical antecedents, a time or period before modern day history was fabricated, have inherited a common, law and law of nation greater than art. I. Section 8, Clause 10, United States Constitution, Civilization, and are at a similar level of moral and political opinion, constitutions, documents and credentials. Black's Law Dictionary, 7th ed., page 621. The sovereign power of the United States in the family of nations is vested exclusively in the United States government. 66 Mont, 76, State X Rel v. Dixian, Governor, et al., No. 5260, S. Court. Montana, February 10, 1923. The family of nations embodies divine law, greater than the Fas, Fez, Ne Te Rus, greater than Elohims, Aloha, Titans, etc., law of nations and common law, and has been around for modern man prior to immemorial antiquity greater than out of the minds of men. Today it is part of the Dragon Court. 1. President of the United States, the official title of the Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Government, there is no such thing as a federal government written or mentioned in the supreme law of the land nor state constitutions, i.n., not of the United States, Black's Law Dictionary, 46 ed. 
The following quotes are provisions for, 1, a president of the general national United States government and, 2, a corporational national United States government respectively in the United States Constitution. 1. The electors shall meet in their respective states, capital S, and vote by ballot for two persons. And they shall make a list of all persons voted for, open all the certified, and the votes shall then be counted. The person, cap, p, having the greatest number of votes shall be president. After the choice of the president, the person having the greatest number of votes of the elector, not conventions, shall be the vice president, without the dash greater than, art, 2, sec. 1. United States Constitution. This is the one group that picks the winner and sidekick. 2. The electors shall meet in their respective states, small s, and vote by ballot, small b. For, 1, president and 2, vice president. This with the dash greater than, they shall name in their ballots, small b, and the plural ending, the person, small p, voted for as president, and in distinct, totally different, ballots the person voted for as vice president, and they shall make distinct lists of all persons voted for as president, and of all persons voted for as vice president. That the person having the greatest number of votes for president, shall be the president. The person having the greatest number of votes as vice president, shall be the vice president. Amendment 12 of the United States Constitution, underscore underscore, underscore underscore. These are the two groups that picks one winner from each six group. These are the two groups that picks one winner from each six group. After the stock market crash of 1929, the banking holiday of 1933, subject to certain restrictions, the present law forbids member banks of the Federal Reserve System, not a presidential cabinet member and private corporations, to transact banking business, except under regulations of the Secretary of the Treasury, during an emergency proclaimed by the President. C. E. G. 12 U.S.C.A. Section 95. Black's Law Dictionary, 4th ed. Page 185 and 6th ed. Page 146. And a fourth branch of government in the United States was created without lawful constitutional authority or provisions as it pertains to its illegal usurpation of the preamble and constitutional United States government, in the family of nations. This fourth branch greater than department government is known as the federal government, however, a more accurate term is the administrative federal corporate government in the United States of America or management government in the United States government. It too has a president based upon the federal election campaign, which differs from constitutional election process. The administrative office of the president was the Office of Administration authorized January 2, 1979, by President Jimmy Carter's Executive Order No. 12112. There are three presidential offices. 1. Constitutional of the General Government, 2. Executive Corporate Government and the Administrative Agency Government. None of the presidents of the United States, in my lifetime have been elected either in accord with Art. 2. Section 1 or Amendment 12 of the United States Constitution. There is no constitutional provision that allows the winners of the partisan conventions, who somehow become a candidate the Electoral College select from, to choose or pick the candidate for vice, president. Therefore, the person of whom the United Nations been communicating with, Mr. George W. Bush, Joe Biden today, is in fact a de facto president, illegally acting and performing as the de jure president of the United States of America of the family of nations. The ordainers and establishers of the United States Constitution provided that an officer of the United States shall act as president, inter alia, under emergency conditions. In the case of removal of the president from office, or of his death, resignation, or inability to discharge the power and duties of the said office, the same shall devolve on the vice president and, the Congress may by law provide for the case of removal. Declaring what officer shall then ACT as president, and of such officer shall ACT accordingly, until the disability be removed or a president shall be elected, Art. 1, Section 2, of the United States Constitution. 1. If, by reason of death, resignation, removal from office, inability, or failure to qualify, there is no president pro tempore to act as president under subsection B of this section, then the officer of the United States who is the highest on the following list, and who is not under disability to discharge the power and duties of the office of president shall ACT as president, Secretary of State, Secretary of Treasury, Attorney General, Secretary of Energy. 2. An individual acting as president under this subsection shall continue to do so until the expiration of the then current presidential term but not after a qualified and PRIORENTITLED, greater than preamble posterity citizen, individual is able to act.
C, E, G, 3 U, S, C, S, Sec. 19, D, I, 2, 5 U, S, C, Sec, 2104. Officer, greater than employee. Means a Justice O.R. Judge of the United States and an individual W.H.O. is, 1, required by law to be appointed in the civil service. Every president, et al., after Franklin D. Roosevelt have been civil service employees, i.e., the highest officer of the United States, chief executive officer of the non-constitutional administrative federal agency of the United States. C. E. G. 5 U.S.C.S. Section 2105. Employee, civil service worker means an officer and an individual WHO is, 1, appointed in the civil service.